Welcome to the Transform Your Wedding Podcast, a how-to guide for taking your wedding to a whole new level. Here's your host, Marie Kubin from Rent My Wedding. Hey guys, today we're talking all about backdrops. I'll show you how you can get this awesome look to use behind your head table or your kick table. So let's jump right in. So first things first, what is a backdrop? So a backdrop is something that you put in the reception venue to create a focal point or just a really pretty background. So it's something that you might wanna put behind the sweetheart table or the cake table or the guest book area. And there's all different types of backdrops that you could do. So one of the most popular is to do a linen backdrop which is sometimes called a pipe and drape backdrop. So that one uses fabric. So you'll have some type of fabric material that's hanging on a frame and you can do it in white or even all different colors or sequins or anything you want. You can also do backdrops using flowers or balloons or boxwood or all kinds of other types of materials to create a really pretty look for the venue. Now let's talk about where to use backdrops. There are so many places you can use them. So starting off in the ceremony, you could actually use a backdrop behind the altar. This creates a really nice background for exchanging your vows. You can also use backdrops behind your head table or your sweetheart table. This is perfect if you want to create that really gorgeous focal point for the room and it's going to make your wedding photos turn out amazing. So you can style this backdrop however you want, use all different colors and tie it in with your wedding theme. So another place you can use backdrops is behind the wedding cake. So this again is a great way to make sure that your wedding photos look beautiful because you're creating a gorgeous background for that cake. It's also a great way to really highlight the cake and make it stand out. You can also use backdrops behind your guest book table or the gift table or really just anywhere that you want to add a little extra decor and just make it look beautiful. It's also great if you've got an area of the venue that you want to hide. So let's say that maybe there's an area that you're not using or there's a service area where people are coming in and out of the kitchen. You could use a backdrop to kind of hide that area from view and it's perfect kind of as a divider wall without realizing that it's part of the venue. You can also use backdrops around the entire room. So usually people will call this room draping or pipe and drape. And what you do is you actually just cover every wall with the backdrop and that gives a uniform look to the venue and makes it really beautiful and elegant. So we've got another episode where we go into more detail about that. On this one, we'll focus on doing standalone backdrops. All right, so now let's talk about how to set up a backdrop. I'm going to cover how you set up the typical backdrop that you'll find at a rental company like Rent My Wedding. So the way it works is that you set up two tripods and you put a crossbar in the middle. Then you slide the drapes onto the crossbar. The last step is to raise the tripods, and that's all there is to it. So you can set up a backdrop within a matter of 10 minutes. Now let's talk about all the different styles that you can do with backdrops. So the easiest is to just do a simple backdrop where you leave the fabric hanging straight down. So that creates a really classic and elegant look for the backdrop. You can also add something called a swag or valance. This is a second crossbar that runs parallel to the first one. And this allows you to add a second layer of fabric. So once you add that second layer of fabric, you can use those to create different styles. So you could gather the fabric, you can twist it around, you can swoosh it, you can do all different designs to create all different looks for your backdrop. And you can do different colors too. So you could mix and match different colors, different types of fabric. You can do sequins. There are so many options when it comes to backdrops. And there are some other types of backdrops out there too. So it doesn't just have to be solid colored linens. You can also do something like a boxwood backdrop. So the easiest way to do a boxwood backdrop is actually using a piece of fabric that's printed to look like boxwood. 
So this is kind of our little secret that we love doing for boxwood backdrops because the setup is so easy. It's just basically a curtain that you hook onto that rod and you set it up just like a regular backdrop. And you don't have to worry about transporting greenery or anything like that. It's as simple as folding up a drape in a box and then pulling it out to put it on the backdrop. So these are all different ways that you can create beautiful looks with backdrops. Now let's talk about how to estimate the quantity and the size that you need for your backdrop. So for most people, if you're just doing a standard backdrop behind your cake, your sweetheart table, you could get just the entry level 12 foot wide backdrop. So the way the backdrops come is in a height measurement and a width measurement. So you want to see what height you need just depending on the ceiling height of your venue. Um, most common what we see is doing a height of 8 foot tall or 10 foot tall. And then for the width, you want to measure just how wide that backdrop needs to cover in your venue. So for a sweetheart table or a cake table, 12 feet is usually a good amount. And if you're doing something larger like a big head table, you just want to grab a tape measure and measure how wide exactly is the head table. And then get your backdrop in that same size. So the last thing we'll talk about is how to get a backdrop. So there's a lot of different places you can get this. You could look for a draping company or a decorator or a rental company. I definitely recommend going with a do-it-yourself rental for backdrops because this is so easy and you can save hundreds of dollars by setting up a backdrop yourself. So here's how it works. For example, if you're going with our rental company over at Rent My Wedding, what you would do is just go on the website order the backdrop that you want. We actually have a catalog, so you could scroll through and see all the different styles and colors and everything, and just click the picture that you like for the backdrop. And then you can pick your size, either that standard 12 foot wide that we use for most sweetheart tables or cake tables, or get a larger size if you wanna do a bigger area. Then once you put in your wedding date, you're done. So we'll deliver that package two days before the wedding. And after the wedding, all you do is put everything back in the same box and send it back. The shipping is always free both ways nationwide. And the best part is that the kit is portable, so you can easily put it in the back seat of your car to drive it to the venue, or better yet, just have it delivered right to your venue. So that's a look at everything you need to know about pipe and drape backdrops. I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to get this look for your wedding. And don't forget, you can find all of our podcast episodes over at transformyourwedding.com. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you next time. This podcast is brought to you by Rent My Wedding, your one-stop shop for event rentals. Order online and rentals are delivered right to your door. Shipping is free both ways nationwide. Rent lighting, backdrops, photo booths, and more. With the most five-star reviews in the industry, Rent My Wedding makes rentals easy and affordable. Book your rentals today at www.rentmywedding.com.